Hello, my friends, and welcome to another episode. What? Did this thing just die? Okay, back. I don't know what that was. It probably helps if I bring the microphone over here. Yeah, just going around for some looting because um, building the base and everything aside, uh, I really need some food. Uh, leaving all the main things aside, I still have a lot of things missing. Uh, mainly, oh, there's the bear. Um, kept hearing him a while ago. Uh, there's a lot of things that I miss, uh, mainly uh, all sort of uh, recipes for um, cool stuff, you know, sorts of um, papers like that, all sorts of uh, recipes, I guess, <clears throat> for a lot of stuff. And I know that there's a. Uh... Wow, was that was that the cat? I think it was the cat. Uh, yeah, as I said, playing this kind of game with uh, headphones on uh, you begin to be aware of uh, every sound around you uh, that being said I am um, running all around the city just looting everything I can within, within all the buildings I just got myself one of these large residential buildings this is gonna take forever uh, what I basically do and you'll see this uh, in a moment is I just um, first I um, search all the cabinets, you know, everything, all the desks, the fridges, the, the ovens, and everything, uh, search for loot, and then I just um, destroy, uh, I just break everything in the room, and that way uh, I know that, I, that I've been there because honestly. Uh, especially in large buildings, it's uh, pretty difficult to to know where you've been before. So what I do first is, as you get a lot of useful stuff, I mean like uh, wood and uh, plastic, and which is stuff that I'm sure that uh, at one moment I'll need. I mean, wood you permanently need for uh, the forge and fires and, uh, and everything. Uh, as well as uh, these uh, pictures, these paintings, why not, to decorate, you know, like plants and stuff. And anyway, I'm quite sure that if I, even if I don't do this, there's gonna be a moment when uh, I'll need those items, and as long as I can still loot them while uh, searching around for the big stuff, uh, why not? So what I do is run around. Get all the stuff from all the cabinets and the storage units I can find. And just get through all of them. Nitrate powder, that's good paint. Yeah. I'm actually not sure how easy it is to do paint. Chrysanthemum can be uh, a pain in the back to to gather. Well, I can do a farm, but uh, anyway, it's stuff for free, and uh, that matters. No matter what you get. Always looking around for. Uh, that's right. And as soon as I'm done with, uh, with them, I hate those loud sounds. Check this as well. Another wrench. More vitamins. Why not? Still haven't found one single antibiotic in the uh, medical cabinets. Let me 
glasses. Oh, no more space. And, uh, you know, I know I'm the type of guy who just uh, likes to gather and loot everything. I mean, every single stupid item. Uh, and then, if I'm full, what I've done is, I already have this big X here. I have made, uh, oh, this was so close. Uh, okay. Uh, I've made a storage place with a lot of uh, chests that we're gonna see soon. Oh, and I also have a, yeah, a mini bike that I left over there for fast transport. I keep forgetting about it. Oh. Okay, are you alone? Come on, hero! <laughs> but of course, why not? Here I go with the band aid. Chop them off as well. And I have these chests here, laid down, a whole lot bunch of them. So I hope that zombies don't damage them, but I don't think so. I think they just walk on them as I do. And just uh, put everything that I gather inside here. Over and over and over. Sorry about that, I have some uh, neck spine issues. <sighs> Gotta get it checked. Sometimes there's a lot of pain, uh, movement restriction, and uh, a feeling of uh, the spinal cord being compressed. And after I've uh, emptied everything, he's one on your ski for repair and the stop sign to mark a building that has been uh, completely emptied. Which I guess is gonna take a while here. I just take everything that I can. And one of the main reasons why I do this is because uh, back home, or otherwise I would have uh, proceeded to just uh, continue you know, getting the, the concrete uh, done, is that um, some of the blocks don't dry out, uh, even after a long, very long time. Um, and I've read that, uh, sorry, I'm gonna grab a few peanuts here. I've read that um, leaving the base, what was that? I read that leaving the base for a, a longer time can help with that. So that's what I'm trying to do, just uh, stick around here without coming back. Um, so I can see if um, if those uh, concrete blocks eventually dry out. And this is what I do. I loot from all the storage units. Then I just uh, push my axe or pickaxe through them. Even the lights, everything, including windows. I'm basically just leaving the, the walls, walls and doors. There. And cabinets.
big axe for fridge and sink. Always. Crazy on these. Pickaxe on a TV too. Not anything else with pickaxe? No. Just going around with the axe now. storage unit and destroy it. That was E, not F. <clears throat> we have plastic arms, broken glass. It will sure feel nice when I'll need it to just have all the items there stored instead of just uh, searching around forever for them. Let's see on this one lines. Windows again. I'm gonna need my X repair a little bit. Is that a zombie? I am having my window open in the same time, and we have like dogs and cats and stuff going on around here outside too, so sometimes it's a bit difficult to uh, make a difference from the real world. What else? So basically I'm making all the rooms look like this, so when I enter a room and see this... Yeah, that's my cat. <laughs> oh, it gives you the chills to hear these. Even if it's my beloved pet. When you do that when I'm playing this game, my dude, you're scaring the hell out of me. Is, oh, hey, can I? I don't think it's too high. That's just one of my neighbors drive some. Uh, employee transport buses and he brings them home kind of love the idea of uh, having a bus as your daily car <laughs> oh for one moment I thought these was these were uh, server racks oh, that would have been cool you know to get like LAN cables and oh man maybe one day you know I wish I'm not saying the game is not interesting. I've talked about this uh, before, you know, people saying that it's boring, it's not, but, uh, you know, given for, I understand you need uh, some income from it, and it's, uh, it takes time uh, and effort to add things, but I would really love one day to have one game like this. And in fact, it's not even that hard, because I can imagine the most difficult thing is to get the actual main engine on and um, 
no, it's like adding or removing items from an uh, MMORPG. I don't know how many of you have had their own um, MMORPG server like Lineage or Aeon or whatever. Mm, I really need to stop chewing. <clears throat> The point is, once you have all the system built up and a functional game and all the databases and all the information and configuration files and all the tables and values and everything you can think of, adding items, adding functionality is actually a heck of an easy job to do. So I would like, you know, thinking, let's talk about this game. I have this exact game, but it's it's still good, you know, it's still fully sandbox, fully open world, fully infinite. But uh I would like to have it uh not in seven days to die, any game, any kind of game of this kind. I would like to have all the things you can have in real life, like computers and cables and being able to drive cars and uh I don't know, everything. Doesn't seem that uh, that hard to do, actually. For a company with a team, I've just realized that um, it's uh, those uh, you know that that moment when you realize you can do a project, you know that you would really like to. I would like to do it uh, by myself, but um, this is not a one-man job. You know, to kind of have like, uh, you know, the same as you have kitchen, uh, cupboards and stuff, why not have uh, a technical room with the servers in the building? and? be able to get the, the LAN cables and have computers and uh, possibly log into a network or the internet and, uh, and find a way to communicate with other survivors of a lot of applications in multiplayer, maybe messaging and, uh, you know, funds transfer and uh, or even item transfer and stuff like that. Or like why the hell can't you drive cars as long as you can uh, drive the mini bike and have gas and have all these cars around that are already modeled you don't need, need to do the graphics and the 3d model for it you just need to you know make an animation and program the movements and whatnot and yeah it's it, it's disappointing from that point of view anywho let's keep on digging because if I keep complaining like that we're not going to go anywhere there's some antennas oh, I thought I'm going to find something a bit more interesting you can kill yourself if you want to I think this is going to be a slightly longer video oh nice view Nice view though. Nah, I, I think I'm gonna leave you. Do your job, you know? Nothing spot, uh, just a sleeper. I hate those sounds. Those are the sounds. I don't like to hear empty sink. There's a line there. There's an empty medicine cabinet. Let's go with this. Anyway, I think this was this part of the building completely done. Nope. Um, 
and clutches. I already have this map right there. And that's really scary. Triggered empty. Spawning sleeper zombie. Okay, names. Some sleeper parts. I don't understand where he is. You're annoying. You really are. Oh, another buff. The blood bags are good for uh, first aid kits. horrified because I'm sure I'm just gonna end up with him in my face anytime soon. So. Is he going through the ceiling? No. So let's check. Nothing here. Nothing there. This was our room. This was our room. This one here, this uh, something in here, something in here, something in here. Big balcony. I just think we are entering the second half of the bottom floor. Let's see what we get here. No zombies so far. There's my little <laughs> There's nothing to show us. Zombies, then no, that's no, not so bad. <clears throat> it's not that bad at all. Anyone here? No, too tight. That's what she said. Just paper. Just colors. Empty. Nothing. soon. <clears throat> I hope these uh, 
headphones wire it doesn't show up on the sound. There's a real mess on my desk right now. Oh my god, if I knew where you were. It's really close, he's like above or below or something. <coughs> up on the map but it's not here. What in the world? No, I don't like this. Just gonna restart the game. That's the name of my company, by the way, if you've seen the world name. Big problems, big problems on the business side, too. Got left with a single customer. 50 euros a month income, and that's it. It's a horrible, horrible world out there. They all want their work to be done for free not give you anything ask for the whole world you know in the return of ah. yeah my mini bike is gone That's the way to. I'm actually gonna go a little bit of uh, god mode. It's on the ground. This white helmet. Can I take it? Just gonna position myself over it. Try to dig for it. What did I do? Oh. Let's see what we're doing here. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's uh I might have already been in god mode when I drove it, so maybe I was a little bit underground when I stopped it. But then it doesn't drive below ground, even if you're in god mode, so... Who knows? What actually happened? By the way, I still have a uh, feral running zombies turned off for the night. I'm... I'm not good with that stuff. I'm 
I'm I'm not ready. I don't want that. As long as Minecraft doesn't have them, and, uh, and there's an option for it, why not? It's an actual vanilla option in the game, so. So you can already see there, I mean, the windows are gone on the ground level. There's a clear sign that I've been here, even without... Uh, stay there! Just... Oh. Don't go anywhere again. Sometimes turn diving, very useful stuff. Sarcastic, of course. A lot of uh, paintings. Okay, let's check everything out. You know, I'm kind of in between decisions because this uh, kind of looting takes a while. I kind of just want to quickly go for uh, the interesting stuff, but then I would have trouble uh, recognizing where I have been or I haven't looted. So I just prefer doing this, just emptying everything out and knowing that I'm done with the building for good. I mean, except the actual walls and the roof and the doors and stuff. I can know that it's uh, completely looted, top to bottom. Anything? Anything not, not found, eight zombies. It's worth uh, keeping an eye out for, for any interesting stuff that might happen around. Night is, night is always an interesting... Uh, moment in this game. More paint. Got a lot of paint from these. But absolutely, absolutely nothing interesting. The electrical parts. Well, that's nice, but you can get a lot of them from cars. Cooking pots. I remember when I was just beginning and had a really tough time finding finding a cooking pot. And now, now they're just everywhere. <laughs> empty. And as soon as they're empty, boom. Just getting rid of them. Absolutely no worries whatsoever. Boom, empty, empty, empty. And now it is indeed empty. You now, and you, when you walk through the door and see this, you know that you've been here and uh, you've taken everything. So that's nice. That's a nice thing to have. I keep getting confused with all these rooms. I think that's the first department done. And this place. 
just go around searching for zombies. safely proceed. Honey is always good getting rid of the infections. The art is nice because uh, obviously you keep consuming food and drinking water. But I uh, haven't found much uh, like healthy good food, just one piece of meat. Kinda got scared by some reflections there. Nothing, 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 just... Well, not nothing, but... You know, the usual stuff. That's weird, this weird chair I'm sitting on. Because <sighs> it kind of pivots on the top of the piston. You know, it's one of those uh, uh, adjustable uh, wheel chairs, so to speak. Uh, desk office chairs. And it's kind of wobbling on the top of uh, the piston. And sometimes I think it. Kind of resonates in my body uh, along the pulse frequency, I guess, by uh, you know when the blood flows in my legs and my bottom, it kind of just lifts and lowers me and kind of induces uh, a wobbling effect that I sometimes I can be pretty sure that there's an earthquake going on. It's just uh, body wobbling on the chair. It's pretty weird. Sometimes I'm really, really certain that there's an earthquake going on. I even open up an app that I have that is uh, directly connected to seismometers in the country just to check and uh, it's uh, never happening, you know. It's just my chair. Well, my body on the chair. It's a very earthquake prone country. The problem is that um, it only spits out any kind of uh, like really important earthquakes very, very rarely and uh, the ones that are felt uh, more often are uh, small enough that they're just uh, you know, ignored by most people. But the truth is, uh, we're gonna soon have a very bad time. Uh, yeah. can, all, can go all the way up to 8 degrees on a Richter scale and that's scary. It's not even that far ago that uh, we've had an 8 uh, 
on a geological scale, it was about 200 years ago, 217 years ago in 1802. Not very far, and uh, being that it's been that long, it can only mean that it can happen again pretty soon. But anyway, on a, on a positive side, uh, I have moved from a high-rise concrete apartment building to a two-story uh, apartment block, so this thing is actually a lot more safer. It's not just how it's built, but uh, the smaller the height and hence the weight of the building, that's uh, the better for, uh, for earthquakes. Oh, I need to make another trip. Oh, my neck is killing me again. Go to hell! What's wrong? With my aiming. That was horrible. Not sure if they can attack me on the mini bike. But uh, this is probably not a moment to find out. Oh, there's a. F what? A fire? Oh. I got a lot of stuff in here. Sure, gonna take a long time to bring these items back. And my food is gone. Food is gone. I look for food. If these are not so great, but uh, it's better than having nothing. I don't want to test this right now. Heck with that. It's less scary during the day. Check real quick if it's still recording. I'm still not very good at this. <laughs> it's gonna take a few months to to like 
try everything out and see how everything performs. Out, you're out. I'm sure I've made a few hundred broken glass by now. Is this side done? Then the three rooms on this side, and this large area, and what's in here? That's one of probably one of the rooms from the other side, which goes in there. Yep. And I think I just finished the first floor. Get my weapon up and running and release the Krakens. Fourteen zombies, not bad. Got your plans. Doesn't appear to be many of them around though. <coughs> Which I'm not very sad about, to be honest. Crossbow. Did I learn this? No! Oh man! Oh man, it's the first time, the first cool thing I found. See, it's worth it. No, it's worth it. <clears throat> so I really wanted the crossbow. These guns are good, but they're kinda noisy. And I don't always want to use them. I mainly use them for uh, hunting animals to get my food. But in terms of uh, zombie killing, I prefer I prefer things that uh, don't make a hell of a noise. Let's go to the main room. Organized bottom first. And that's what she said. Always bottom first. Okay, then the middle. Not much going on in the middle, and then the top. Imagine how much wood I make from all these. I already have almost a hundred out of a single uh, section in here.
keep checking behind me just to be sure. Just to be on the safe side. I'd like it if you could get those lights as they are. Are ready to be connected to a power source. That electrical power source is also something I have in mind. Now, speaking of which, I want my uh, chemistry station skills. Because I kind of need that. Okay. This room done. Kinda quiet. But it's been a blood moon night, so didn't get to shoot that. It was pretty interesting. One of the very few that I haven't spent uh, at uh, bedrock level. It's also one of the first times in this game when I actually have what I actually have some kind of uh, armor on me. So that's uh, that counts. And you're surrounded by uh, hungry zombies. I'm just doing this section and uh, call it a day. And I think it's been done. How's it? That one's gone, this one's gone, everything gone. Okay. So that's basically what I'm doing right now. This city is large, as I think most of the cities in Seven Needs to Die are. A lot of very high buildings. This isn't even one of the biggest. It's actually one of the smallest multi-floor buildings. Do I have any here? There's a bit of a fog, I think. That's one example. That's like three times taller than this one. So, I'm not gonna run out of content anytime soon. Thanks for watching and catch you next time. Please leave a like, leave a subscribe, that helps. Being that I'm a channel at the beginning, and I really hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'm waiting forward for the next one. Thanks again for watching. See you guys.